welcome back everyone i'm up to over 950 subscribers right now which is amazing i don't know what's going on but thanks to everyone that's following me thank you everyone um this video is gonna i'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet um i just want to show you my my little checks um there are about some of them are four weeks old today and some of them are three weeks old i'm just going to show you my setup it's all in the basement i have a heat lamp there so they're warm I keep lifting up the lamp because at every couple of days we have to lean the, the heat on them and it's still pretty warm in here so they're all good Focus on them. There. So we just changed the wood chips in there. Everything that was in there before is going out to the compost pile. So in here I have my rabbits and my chickens on the ground. So the rabbits will poop and pee and everything's gonna fall on the ground right there. And the chickens will go and scratch it all up, mix it up with the wood chips, make great compost. And the reason I'm holding that bottle right there is because I only have one left. Uh, I had four, three of them uh, broke up because of a cold. I think she's mad. So the, the rabbit feeder has been holding well. No issues whatsoever. And this one here still just stands a little bowl. Doesn't tip it as much. Kind of cute. So the chickens are laying. What's wrong with that one? Oh, she's full of blood. She seems all right, but there's blood all over her right wing. Two, three, and I already picked four or five this morning. She's never happy with me. Eggs. I don't know if someone attacked them or might have hurt herself somewhere. Seems all right. The one there. Oh, she's not in a good mood. Oh, jeez. Not too sure what happened. Um, try to help her, but I guess it happens when you have animals on a on a mini farm. Chances are you're gonna lose some at some point. I'm just sad I didn't get chances to find her before everything seemed all right this morning and it looked like she was laying an egg and the egg got stuck in there I don't know if that's what caused her death or if that happened because of something else but I separated her from the other ones and laid her on the ground here and she closed her eyes and thinks she thinks she died. I'm gonna let her rest in peace a little bit. Maybe she'll 
Yeah, I doubt she'll get her strength back. She's still breathing. I don't know if I should put her out a minute over misery or. Well, I'm gonna leave that chicken alone for a little bit and see if anything comes up. I just wanted to show you. My rooster is beautiful. I have all my bird rock hens in here. Um, I tried to give them a place to lay, but it seems like they don't want to lay in there at all. They keep laying on the floor. I'm gonna go get some feed. And they're always laying in that corner over there. But these are the ones that I'm picking up eggs right now from and hopefully put them in the incubator and have myself some pure breed bird rocks. So I don't plan on showing you the hen, but I'm looking at my flock. Um, beside the one that I think just passed away next to me right there, I see two more hens, three maybe, with blood on their feathers. And it's only the white ones. There's one right there that has a little bit of blood. Those two right there. This one and this one, just a tiny little bit. And this one right there, the white one there. Seems like she's having a little bit of blood on her feathers. So I'm thinking maybe another animal attack. Is that what one there, the one on the ground there seems to be showing signs of blood too. And only the white ones. I don't see blood on any of the other ones. Of course it's easier to see on a white chicken, but I mean my rabbits are there and they're fine. All my chickens back there are fine. Bear rocks are all fine. I don't know, I'm gonna have to keep an eye open to see what's going on. Well, once again, uh, thanks for watching and thank you to all the subscribers that are, uh, that are following me, my family, and hopefully the weather uh, Nice weather is going to set in soon, and we'll be able to start uh, talking about the garden and uh, some new uh, some new things coming on the little uh, mini farm. So uh, once again, see you next time. Thanks.